Hey guys, and welcome to the AWS Lambda Quick Start Tutorial. My goal today is to show you how to get a Lambda function up and running in production in less than 10 minutes. So we're going to cut the fat, no backstory, no sidestepping, no lollygagging, get straight to the point, and not a lot of talking. I've stopped talking. I'm completely silent. I'm not talking now. All right, ready to do this? Let's go. All right, guys, so for this simple example, we're going to imagine that we are running a bookstore and we need a Lambda function to uh, basically add books to the inventory, okay? So we're going to have a Lambda function that's going to write books to DynamoDB, to our books table. So uh, why don't you head on over to aws.amazon.com and go ahead and sign into the console. Okay, now let's head on over to DynamoDB. Either type it into the search box here or click on it if you've recently visited. All right, let's go ahead and click on Create Table. All right, I'm going to give this table a name. I'm going to call it Books, okay? And for the primary key, it will be ISBN, which is the, I believe it stands for International Standard Book Number, which should be a unique ID to identify our book, okay? Go ahead and click on Create. Okay, it'll take a minute or two for that table to be created. All right, and once that is done, uh, make sure you're still on the Overview tab on the right-hand side, and let's scroll all the way to the bottom, and let's copy to our clipboard the Amazon resource name, okay? And this is going to help us identify our books table uh, when we go to step number two, which is going to be to create an uh, execution role for our Lambda function. All right, guys, now let's go ahead and head on over to Identity and Access Management. So uh, from your menu, select IAM or type it into the search box if you don't see it there. Okay, and let's click on Roles from the left-hand menu. And let's click on Create Role. All right, select Lambda, and let's click on Next. All right, so from the policy area, let's go ahead and search for AWS Lambda Basic Execution Role. And that should pop up before you're done typing it. And what this will do is basically it's a starting point for our um, role it will give us uh, permissions to write to CloudWatch logs. All right, so go ahead and select that. Click on Next. Tags, we don't need to do anything here, so click on Next Review. And let's give this guy a name. So I'm going to say Lambda Books, um, Books Table Role. I'm sure I can think of a better name, but that's fine for now. And we'll bypass the description. Policies, that looks good. All right, let's go ahead and create role. All right, so once you see that role on your uh, roles list page, go ahead and let's just click on it. We're going to do one more thing. Go ahead and click on add inline policy. And here's where we're going to give it specific permissions to interact with our table. So choose service and in the box type in DynamoDB. There it is. Go ahead and click on that. Okay, so we're just going to allow it to do one specific thing, which is put item. So go ahead and click on, under Manual Actions, Add Action. Okay, and type in Put Item into the box. Okay, and click on Add. All right. Good. Um, let's go ahead and click on Resources. And once that area is expanded, go ahead and click on Add ARN. And here's where we'll paste in the uh, previously copied Amazon resource name from our table. All right, and everything else should self-populate, so go ahead and click on Add. And that is good, so let's go ahead and click on Review Policy. And let's give our policy a name. I'm going to say Lambda, let's, I don't know, um, Lambda Book write policy. Okay, good enough for now. Let's go ahead and create policy. Okay, excellent. So our policy, our role is created. Now let's head on over to Lambda and we'll begin to code our Lambda function. So from the top menu, if you expand that, you'll probably see Lambda. If not, just type it into the box here. Lambda, and it should pop up. All right, and this should take us to the Lambda, uh, basically, landing page. So 
On the right hand side, you'll see an orange button, create function. Go ahead and click on that. So we're going to call this um, add book lambda. All right. We can leave the runtime at node.js8 and leave the role set to choose an existing role. And from the existing role dropdown, we can check, we can select our lambda dynamo, I'm sorry, lambda books table role. All right. And go ahead and create function. All right, let me just increase my screen size here a little bit. That should do it. Okay, so the first thing we can do is get rid of our boilerplate code here. And let's go just above the handler function. And what I want to do first of all is bring in the AWS SDK. So const AWS equals, um, this is a require, require AWS SDK, okay? Now I want to go below that and I want to pull in the document client library, which will let us interact with DynamoDB. So let's say constant document document client equals new new AWS dot DynamoDB dot document client. And what's it complaining about here? Oh, okay. Well, that's going to change in a minute. So, okay. Uh, now, inside of our handler function, the first thing we need to do is to create our payload that we'll be passing into the document client put function. Okay, so this will represent our book object. So I'm going to do constant params equals, and this will be an object. Okay. Now, the first property we need is table name. Okay, and this is a string, and I think I called it books. Okay. Next property is item, and this will be, you know, the object that represents the book that we're adding to the system. Okay, so I'm going to say ISBN, which will be our unique identifier. This is a string. I'm just going to give it a random value right now. So let's say 66666. Okay, it's actually a 13-digit uh, number, but that's all right. So for title, just put in any book title you want. I'm going to say War and Peace. Okay. And let's add an author property. Author, let's say Leo Tolstoy. There we go. Okay, I think that looks looks good. Semicolon at the end. Let's go down to the next line and let's do a try catch because we're going to use async await now that we've got Node.js support. So let's put in an error for the catch block. Okay, so under try, let's do const data that will represent the response. Well, let me just make it say response then, response. Okay. All right, um, so I'm gonna do await, and then our asynchronous function, document client dot put, pass in params, and just permissify this by adding a promise, calling promise on that that permissifies the uh, the actual put request or the put function so that we can use async await. All right, and let's console log our response. And let's console log any error message that we might get. Hopefully we'll get none, but just in case. There we go. Um, okay, let's see. AWS is not defined. Ah, okay, of course we need to well, let's just make this a caps AWS for now to satisfy that constraint. So yeah, just make sure these two match. And I think that looks good. So let's go ahead and save it. All right, we're ready to test our function. So let's go ahead and click on test. Um, just give this a quick name, my test for our, our, our test event. Go ahead and save that, create it. Now click on test. All right, now let's navigate back on over to DynamoDB. Okay, click on tables, click on books, items, and there's our item. Okay, so our Lambda function worked, and there is your AWS Lambda in under 10 minutes. I hope you guys enjoyed the Lambda Quick Start tutorial. Um, if you found this useful, please consider subscribing, and I will see you guys in the next video.